they're going to hate you. It is what it is. Oh, let me say that again. I said they're going to hate you. It is what it is. Now, what am I talking about, right? I felt this message on my on my heart very strong um, because I feel that someone needs to hear this, right? Someone needs to hear this. It may give you some clarity. It may give you like an explanation as to what is going on in your life or why you're going through what you're going through, right? So when I say that they're going to hate you, it is what it is, right? And when I say it is what it is, meaning like, you know how you might hear somebody say, I said what I said, like, it's just... I've already said it. It's nothing that can change it. Like I've already said it. I could try to clean it up. I could apologize for it. But I said what I said. Like I've already said it. It's nothing that can bring the words back into my mouth. You heard what you heard, right? So when I say it is what it is, it's meaning that there's no way to change this. This is just the way that it's going to be. But because you are a follower of Christ, right? Because there's a call upon your life, right? The Bible said that they hated Jesus without a cause, right? So people are going to lie on you. They're going to treat you unfairly. They're going to slander your name. People will gossip about you. They're, going, they're just going to do all of these things that are not right, right? But the reason they're doing these things is no reason why. It's no reason why they're treating you the way that they're treating you. Like I said, they, they hated Jesus without a cause, right? And you're going through these things because of your association with Christ. It's because you belong to him. You're going to have to go through these things. The Bible said we have to share in the sufferings of Jesus Christ, right? So when these things begin to happen to each other, God, and first of all, let me look up the word hate. Let me look up the word hate because people are going to hate you. Many of you have experienced hate already, right? So the word hate, right? It says it's a strong and intense feeling of extreme dislike, right? The dislike is so strong that it demands an action. So they dislike you so much, right? That they're not going to say, I hate them. And just keep that in their mind or just whisper it under their breath. Because the dislike is so strong, the definition says that it demands an action. So what am I talking about? Meaning they're not just going to say that, but now what they're going to do is they're going to tell somebody that they hate you. They don't even know why they hate you, but they hate you without a cause, right? They're hating you without a cause. So being that it demands an action and being that it's extreme, it's going to take an extra step. It has to be something extra. Like I say, they're not just going to say it. Now they're going to tell somebody that they hate you, right? And not just telling somebody, that's an action, but now because the action has to be extreme, it means it's going to be extra, right? It's gonna be extra. So they're not just going to tell somebody that they hate you. Now they're going to probably make up a lie, right? As to why they hate you, right? And they don't even know why they're doing it. So now that's extra, right? That's now extra. So the dislike is so strong, it says that it requires an action. So now people are not just going to lie on you. So now they're going to lie on you and they're going to gossip about you, right? So child of God, think it not to be a strange thing when you begin to go through these type of things, right? Because it's a good thing. It confirms the call of God upon your life, right? So when these things begin to happen, you are dead in the center of the will of God. You're exactly where you're supposed to be when people do you dirty. So you got to look at it like this. You hear somebody lie on you. You know, you hear a lie. Somebody said something. You hear it from somebody else. Oh, they said this. And you're like, that's not even true. But you say, God, I thank you. They still treat me wrong, right? When you hear somebody gossiping about you, right? They talking bad about you. Lord, I thank you. They still talking about me, right? When you hear somebody slandering your name, Lord, I thank you. They still slandering me, right? And I know that's not an easy thing to do, you guys, but because of the call, because of your association with Jesus Christ, 
you're going to have to go through these things, right? We're no better than Jesus Christ, you guys. So we're going to have to suffer through these things, these type of afflictions and these things that people are going to do to us, you guys. It just confirms the call. There's no way that everybody likes you. There's no way that uh, everybody wants to be your friend. It's no way that everybody doesn't, nobody talks about you. It's no way that nobody slanders your name. Nobody hates on you. It's no way that you are called of the Lord. If, if all of those things are happening to you, there's no call upon your life. You got to question the call of God upon your life when everybody likes you, right? But being that you're being disliked and treated unfairly, child of God, it's a good thing. You have to look at it as a good thing. And again, like I say, I know it's not easy, but because of the call, right? Because there's a great call upon your life, because there's something that God has uh, ordained for you to do, like a special work for the kingdom of God. All it is, is the kingdom of darkness, which is coming against you, right? Your light is being shown. Like they can see your light. They can see your light, right? They can see that you're chosen, right? They can see that there's a special grace of God upon your life, right? So if they can um, try to pull you down, try to discourage you, try to bring you down before you can reach to where it is that God wants you to be, then they're going to say that the job has been successfully done right? So that's why you got to continue to press forward and you got to recognize that this is nothing but a trick of the enemy. And this is only happening to me because of the call, right? It is what it is, right? And there's nothing that's going to change that. So when people begin to lie on you and talk about you and treat you unfairly, you got to say, God, I thank you, right? It confirms that I'm called. It confirms that the work that the Lord has ordained me to do is a great work. It confirms it, child of God. It just confirms it. If you're wondering if God has truly called you to do a special and specific work for him, you got to look at how people are treating you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right? So, child of God, when those things happen, think it not to be a strange thing. Right? You're not the only one that's going through this. Right? Um... Jesus suffered it also, you guys. Jesus suffered it also, right? He says, if the world hates you, you just know that they hated me first, right? You just know that they hated me first, right? So if people are hating you, I'm just saying, know that they did it to Jesus first. And you are going to suffer in, share in his sufferings. It's just part of the process, right? So child of God, God is not going to let it take you out of here. You know, you're going to overcome it. You know, they will reap what they've sown. You know, they're not going to get away with the way that they're treating you and the way they're lying on you and, 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 and slandering your name and all of these things. But just look at it as like, God, I thank you. It just confirms my call. If I've never thought that I was ever called in my life, the way they're treating me confirms it, right? So child of God, they're going to hate you. Give God glory because it is what it is. Be blessed.